Buenos dias, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Dirita YouTube, and yes, I am from the Bitcoin Generation X, and I'm holding my Bitcoins. And if you want this cool t-shirt, and uh, you can even adjust the text below this one, go to our shop. But today, again, a short video about the TA, about the charts, how I look at the charts today, and three really cool charts, and that's all. And then later today, again, a beautiful video uh, about mindset or the news or life. Uh, the concept that I started to do now is two or three videos a day. That's a lot of work, but one TA video doesn't take me too much time every morning. And then the family video is later in the afternoon. Yesterday I did it the first day. People really like it. So let's go to the first charts, guys. This one. Bam! Four hour chart guys, the four hour chart that I was on with you guys yesterday as well. You can see now what is what is happening. I will minimize here the small parts of the indicators. We had the four hour bounce over here. Um, I drew this green line on the charts yesterday already, this one as well. Um, this one, we broke down of that one. Uh, we bounced from this level of 50K and now we are even breaking above this green level again if we are rejected by this green line we could bounce back down again but we are closing above this yellow stepping line as you can see and that is for the bam bam indicators a long trade this is a confirmation of the long trade this candle closed above the yellow stepping line the long flag was there second confirmation there is some volume third confirmation the blue line crossed the white line in the Bam Bam indicator. Fourth uh, confirmation. Then we go further, even here. The yellow is turning into green. Fifth confirmation. And even on the TikTok, we have a bull flag appearing. So that's the sixth confirmation. That would have been six confirmations to take that um, long, guys. So that would be a valid long to take. I would have been in the long already. This is a four hour chart. So this trade will take a couple of days. Like you can see this chart over this trade, for example, over here. And um, that one started on the 16th of March and it ended around the 20th of March. So that was four days. Um, the short over there as well, it starts on 18 March and it ends somewhere pff, below here. So that's 24, that's six days. So four hour dot trades and uh, they just take a little bit longer just so that you know um, do we have anything else on the four hour chart no that's it you know this was this falling wedge pattern um, we bounce from this green line i see us going up if we break this red line bam here again um, so that would be 55k if we break that we go up we come back down we retest again and then we go up uh, maybe for the target of 70k that is how i look at the charts um, let's go into the second chart this one bam because we always zoom out so we are looking at the day chart and the day chart Yes, we closed down below the channel as well, but we are working very hard to come back in this channel because this day channel, this is already, walk, we are already following this from the 2nd of February. So uh, this fifth wave, I still believe we can make it. You know, let's see. Trying to keep it short, so running through it very fast while I uh, zip my cup of coffee. Yes, now we can continue again. Um, <laughs> this, guys, is the week chart. So we are zooming out a little bit more. Um, on this week chart, I've been telling you guys about this week chart already for months. You know, I told you we could be copying the 2013 move that we go above the midline of the logarithmic growth curve, come back to this 21 MA, and then do the second run. This is what happened in 2013. In 2017, we came above the green line, the midline of the logarithmic growth curve. Then we pulled back to this yellow line and then we went up, but it was a smaller increase. Like we, we didn't go that hugely above the green line. Here we went like way more, almost to the third line from above. And now we are doing the same. We just broke um, this midline again. We are going above it. We are kind of going sideways. What are we going to do? Are we going to pull back 
all the way to this yellow line to 36 or maybe next week it will be a little bit higher like 40k or are we going to pull back to this white midline yeah, which is all the green over here that's 40k and then go up again so like we did in 2013 remember we went up we came down sideways bam so are we doing the same move up come down sideways bam in december or something or are we just doing what 2017 did um, and that's just you know going up coming down and going bam so going up coming down and going bam so this now would then be this area over here and then we would take it bam all the way up to 120k somewhere in july all of these moves are possible i'm always prepared for all these moves the thing that i'm watching very closely is this one over here wait i will show you which i'm uh, what indicators i'm following is the nvt every time this nvt on the weekly chart guys turns from red into this grayish we should be selling uh, the bitcoins if you're in a trade you know if you want to multiply your bitcoins uh, if you just want to huddle huddle is also okay but like you can see the moment we turn from red into this grayish we see this huge dips from red into this grayish we saw these huge dips here red into this grayish we see this huge dip if this is going to happen on sunday sunday evening this week is going to close if this turns gray on sunday that would be uh, bearish for me that would mean if this one turns gray that i'm going to probably sell a few bitcoins into stable currencies or whatever to buy the dip um, again i don't know if it is going to happen but i do know that this is the um, i have never seen such a long time red area as this you can see all back in history it was all shorter times this is a very long time which means that a lot of institutional investors are buying the dip which i can show you because that's also what i want to show you today i need to do like this because i have these um, separate charts um, for you that i want to talk about this is a chart uh, about today because every time this last front friday these options expire today is like 6.1 billion in, in options expire this is what happened after the last few times that those options expired because we have seen now this this, this, this this pattern going up coming down going up and coming down and going up and coming up what do you expect that we go down or that we go or that we go up so in my opinion we will doing be doing this because that is the way this chart is showing me that we should be going yes we have these huge runs but yes we also have these pullbacks of 17 percent over there so maybe 80 percent 30 percent 100 percent 26 percent 40 percent 70 percent who knows what's going to happen but i believe that we are going up yes we retested this line over here and we are going up another chart that is confirming that for me is this one very important bitcoin net transfer volume from or to exchanges this is a, a 200 day moving average guys do you see this red line over here there is a shit load there is a shit 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 load of ex bitcoins leaving the exchanges this is very positive because this is very bullish this means people trust bitcoin going higher uh, i think a lot of billionaires bought the dip around 50k and are now moving again their uh, bitcoins from the exchanges because look here this 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 thing here this is like this is a huge this is a huge dip yesterday and that's i think all the people that bought the dip and then took the bitcoins from the exchanges if you compare this with 2017 in 2017 we didn't even see so many bitcoins going from the exchanges but the cool part to uh, compare is it was in this period of the bitcoin price it was pre this huge bull run so is this also pre this huge bull run that is what we are looking at that were all the charts for today i don't have a bam bam chart today and i didn't trade yesterday i am back on the screen 
<laughs> still needed to get in use guys to this uh, whole um, uh, OBS system sorry for that uh, but I, I, I really uh, am thankful that you watched this video yesterday so much times um, the news today I've been I've been scrolling to the news this morning with my iPhone um, it is very positive news you know it's also all about that the bitcoins are leaving the exchanges uh, which is very positive there is this new project cream finance I'm looking into because it's it's giving huge yields when it comes to staking your cryptos even Bitcoin Bitcoin, even US dollars uh, Tether and all those cryptos so I'm, I'm really looking into that as well um, there is not a new project that is now making it possible for I think Ethereum uh, DeFi uh, uh, projects to um, interact with Binance Smart Chain projects I think that one was called IOTEX I'm looking in that as well so there's a lot of news I'm looking into but on average the news gave me like a seven uh, uh, in bullishness which means if the news is bullish the charts are bullish uh, it's, it's a perfect time to trade longs in Bitcoin that was everything for today that was the charting if you did like this video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments thank you for watching again always remember to zoom out of bitcoin and the charts and to zoom in that life try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that should be exactly what life should be about that is a uh, loud dutch english <laughs> <laughs> but enjoy your day guys and hopefully see you later today in a new video uh, where I talk about mindset and news and all that stuff and if not then probably see you tomorrow in the Dutch Live uh, VMA every Saturday live YouTube uh, and on Sunday the English AMA live every weekend so uh, please enjoy, enjoy your day if I don't see you till Monday enjoy your weekend to the fullest thanks for watching and see you again BAM